Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. Like, subscribe and let me know what you think in a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, some stuff that I received from Lime XB360. Go check them out for all your programming needs at limexb360.co.uk. Well, I'm going to talk about a few items that I've received lately. Uh, the first one are control freaks. These are an additional add-on to your controller joystick to help with reaction speeds and grip. As stated on the Control Freak website, each Control Freak product is carefully engineered to reduce force inputs while increasing player comfort, helping you improve your accuracy and decrease your reaction time. Now I've used these before on previous consoles, found them to do exactly as they say on the tin. The main pros, I reacted a lot faster when approaching an objective to find a plethora of blueberries running around and gunning the area. I found that Split second difference between having and not having them on improve the way in which I play the game. My main con, how you get used to them. Been able to play around with three different variations of the Control Freak joystick add-ons. The FPS Freak Ultra, the Vortex and the Freak CQC. By saying one is better than the other is a bit like saying uh, you can use a cricket bat while playing golf. Each one has a specific use from first person shooters to multi-platform games, even the repetitive boredom of racing in circles for a few hours. So I'm going to review these as a first person shooter gamer. Me, myself, I like the, I'd say, CQC variation to give that slight additional height on the joystick compared to the others, as not to overcompensate my gaming movement. Aesthetically, these are packaged really well, and the control freaks are facing the wrong way in the package, but it's no big deal to me. Ease of use, well, the they're simply a push and click item that can have you up and running in no time flat. And for only 11 quid, I think it's a bargain. Now, we're going to go on to the Squid Grip. This was an interesting product, never heard of it before, but it's another additional grip for your controller, but one that goes around it. Open up the item, or find these are packaged really well with an abundance of information scrawled all over each side of the package. Ease of use, I must say, gaming has come a long way from the old wired controllers of yesteryear, and this pleases me immensely. The instructions were easy to read and concise, found it very easy to wrap the squid grip around the controller. My con, my package did not come with any additional stickers as shown in the image, but you can also push that into the, the pro section. The price, $12.95, bargain. I definitely, uh, I definitely have them running on my controllers these days. Now, here is where gaming can and is getting into the realm of a little bit different. I have two items at my disposal, and these are the Gamer's Edge Gaming Glasses and Gamer Rip. Right, so this is a new phenomenon, the gaming glasses, that has branched out in the gaming world as recent as a few years ago and it's always been something I've been interested in. Not due to my keen excitement of all things new and geeky, but the intrigue of whether these actually help. I recently popped along to my local optician recently to get my eyes tested. I asked the optometrist whether they do actually make a difference to your eyes. Turns out this has been around for many years in the form of tinted glasses and many people use them to focus better. Well, that got me hooked on the idea. Whilst I found the yellow tint uh, lenses helped out with the contrast between the characters and the objects within the game, getting on with my age and my eyes aren't as great as they used to, so the chance to help distinguish between a boulder and an enemy was a great significance to me. Aesthetically, they're not my cup of tea but are definitely suitable for what you need them for. I do tend to quite get much bigger glasses. When it comes to the colour, the almost luminescence of the green glasses did not even trouble me at all. I found myself quite happy to look at them like a moth to a light bulb. The quality, for an item that you would only use whilst gaming, they were sufficient, but the build quality didn't blow me away as I'd first expected. The glasses felt a bit flimsy and was not a fan of the metallic feel to the glasses. Price wise, £30. I'd say I'd save my pennies for the Gunner Technology eyewear and go for the Intercept at around £60. They're definitely, definitely more me. Now, this is one that I've absolutely loved. This uh, <laughs> Gamer Grip. Gamer Grip is a non slip, anti perspirant formula that is designed to improve your grip. It provides a great grip solution for anyone who wants a competitive edge over their opponents. Okay, so it's like uh, a liquid that you put on your hands and you rub your hands together gives you yeah grip <laughs> so this is a solution based product that you place on your hands 
Just adding a pea-sized droplet to your hands can substantially increase your awareness of your controller. I especially love the sweet minty smell that protrudes from the dirty mitts after a few hours. Aesthetically the bottle looks really cool and something I could definitely hide with all my products without anybody even batting an eyelid of what it is. Price wise £9, absolute bargain. With only a pea-sized drop for each session I can see this lasting for quite a long while all in all out of the products I think that's the one that I like the best thanks for dropping by guys I hope you like the products hope you like the review and I'll see you in the next one yeah.